This is Mission Control Houston. The Expedition 30 crew on board the International Space Station is uh, wrapping up a long weekend off-duty in observance of the Russian Christmas holidays. Uh, each of the crew members has had some exercise uh, sessions scheduled for the day today, as well as some experiment operations. But for the most part, they have been uh, taking it easy uh, throughout the entire weekend. On Monday, each of the crew members had their exercise sessions on the advanced resistive exercise device uh, downlinked for review by specialists on the ground in order to verify that the crew members are performing the exercise properly and to evaluate the performance of the equipment. Uh, all of the uh, crew members, that is, except Oleg Kononenko, he will have his uh, ARED session downlinked on Tuesday. On Monday, Commander Dan Burbank had time for an amateur radio talk with a group of high school students who are at their school, which is just outside of Paris, while the uh, Russian crew members, Kononenko and flight engineers Anatoly Ivanishin and Anton Shkaplerov provided video for a Russian television program, an educational program, which is known as Science 2.0. After the crew members had lunch, uh, Burbank performed maintenance on that advanced resistive exercise device, uh, greasing the rails to make sure that it would continue to operate smoothly and prevent any damage to the hardware. And after that, he moved on to a reconfiguration of the lab power router, which had yet to been returned to its normal arrangement since having been prepared for operations uh, after a possible decrewing of the station uh, late last year. Now that uh, power router is back in the proper configuration for uh, backing up or for allowing the robotics workstation to be used as a backup in operations during the first demonstration flight of the uh, Dragon, the commercial cargo vehicle, which remains targeted for a launch to the International Space Station next month. The command and control computers on board the station were reconfigured in order to prepare for another power system reconfiguration that is coming on Tuesday. On Tuesday, the crew members will remove a power jumper that was installed to allow for continued ground control of the station if one of the main bus switching units failed while the station was de being, uh, well, it was operating without a crew on board. And of course, that never happened and that uh, configuration is no longer necessary. On Tuesday, the crew members looking forward to a full workday, which will include more human life sciences experiment operations, more video downlink for the Russian TV science program. Crew members are still doing some uh, handover operations, briefing the uh, three newest crew members on station operations. Along with those additional power reconfigurations we were mentioned, and flight engineer Andre Kalpers has a, a weekly conference with ESA officials. He will also uh, take time on a Tuesday morning, just before 9 o'clock Houston time, for a conversation with the Prime Minister of the Netherlands.